Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Constance the Reader, and today we're doing another manga haul. I know. When will she stop? Hopefully in the month of March, <laughs> even though I do have quite a few things that I'm excited for to be released next month, but I've bought a lot of stuff in February, not just in my last video where I had some stuff I had picked up throughout the end of January too. I've just gotten so lucky at Second and Charles getting things half off, but there's also been a few things that released like on the 20th of February. So I figured, oh, why not just go ahead and talk about it some more, especially because it's essentially like a birthday gift to me, okay? Friday the 23rd was my birthday and it was a great birthday weekend. So we're just gonna have a little moment to talk about that because my husband did such a great job surprising me. My friends are so lovely. My family is so lovely. And I just appreciate everyone so much. Friday, my husband took me for a surprise dinner, which something about me is I don't like surprises. I know for some people that's very odd. <laughs> I don't mind a surprise like gift. I don't like being taken somewhere where I don't know what we're doing. It gives me a lot of anxiety. So I had to say, okay, girl, calm down, enjoy the ride. So I enjoyed the ride to this beautiful restaurant where two of my friends were there waiting. And the funny thing is like, I saw, you know, when you turn a corner and it's like, I saw a couple that look like my friends and I'm like, oh, that's weird. Then I'm like, oh my God, those are my friends. That's so weird that they're at the same restaurant as us. And then it clicks, oh my God, they're here for my birthday. <laughs> it was just such a beautiful surprise. The restaurant was so lovely. We'd never been there before. I enjoyed myself so much. And yes, I did cry because it was just so sweet. Then Debbie made me banana pudding for my birthday because that's what I wanted as my desserts in, in lieu of a cake. He also made me breakfast in bed that day. It was just such a great day. Saturday was even better. We got to see my other friend Neptune. We went to this badass restaurant that was so freaking good. I will insert a picture because the barbecue was amazing. Totally ruined Devin's stomach <laughs> for the next day, which was Sunday. And on Sunday, we got to see my parents. We went out and got a crab, a seafood boil, delicious. And then we played the rest of this legacy game that we had been playing. And it was just a lovely end to my weekend slash my week of my birthday. We also saw some of Devin's family for my birthday. Maybe we'll try to do some more, but it was just great. I had so much fun. It's Monday now and I just feel so loved and happy and I love my friends and I love my family and I love my husband so enough about that let's talk about all the stuff I ended up buying myself but also I got some really great gifts from other people and I'm really thankful for that and I will be talking about y'all in this video so thank you but yeah without further ado no more yakking for me let's get into what I have bought myself <laughs> in February somewhere. So some of my volumes are mixed in together. Unfortunately, I didn't mean for that to happen, but it's gonna be a bit like some new releases, some more gifts, some more half off, but you will see as we go along what I've been getting. So first off was a new release and that is Kowloon. This is volume six. I love this series so much. I don't remember how long this is going to be, although I don't think it's gonna be much longer, like maybe nine volumes possibly. I am obsessed with the story because I don't know where it's going, but it's got me every time. And I kind of flipped through a bit. And some of the pictures in here, some of the panels, I was like, what the fuck? Especially the, especially the final one. I'll try to cover up the dialogue. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Y'all don't know this character, but, and this might not even be the character I think it is. Because everybody has something weird going on with them but I love Kowloon okay I would definitely suggest it read it I think you will enjoy yourself you could end up being just as confused as I am about where the story is going but that's okay because it's good I also got volume 4 of Sugumi Project and volume 13 of Zom 100 had no idea that this even came out so I was very excited to see this saw it on the shelf before it released but I waited because I got some money for my birthday. So I got, th these are essentially free in a way. You know, when someone gives you money and you bought a bunch of stuff, it's like you got a free gift. So that was really exciting. So those are three new releases. Cannot wait to read these. I'm a little behind on Zom 100. I think I stopped at volume 10, maybe. I think I stopped at volume nine or 10. I, I may have just read nine, I need to get to 10. So I'm a few volumes behind, but it's okay. 
still going strong with Sugumi Project though. I'm, I'm excited to continue reading this series. I don't know where that's going either. Next up, this was a cover buy because this cover was so pretty and it is Punch Drunk Love. That's so cute. I can't get over how cute this cover is. I'll read the back though. So this is a sizzling BL office romance about a soft man hoping for some hard love from his new co-worker. Mm, oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I saw this and second, oh, I did not flip through this before I opened it. Oh my God. I can't show y'all that. I cannot show y'all that. Oh goodness. Oh. This is making me think of jealousy, except it seems like things are consensual in here. <laughs> but if you've read this, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I'd love to know, but it's definitely, yeah, pretty, pretty spicy. Now I've got some of the volumes that were half off from Second and Charles. So I got really lucky because I went to a different Second and Charles the other day and I found a bunch of these on sale. And that is Hitori Hime, My Hero. So I got volume two, three, four, five, and six. So now I have the first six volumes of this series. It's funny because I remember getting, <laughs> the last time I talked about when I had the first volume, I was like, yeah, I'd probably take my time. I'm gonna read this one first. I don't think I'm gonna get any, yeah, no. As soon as I saw these had a fucking orange sticker on them, I was like, well, might as well, might as well. I mean, for six bucks, when you know these are usually $12.99, like, might as well get the damn thing. So I'm excited about this. So this one's an omnibus for a series that I really like. I've watched the anime, but when I saw that it was also like an omnibus manga, I was like, I definitely want it. But it was kind of expensive and I'm really glad I waited because I had been thinking about getting this when it was on right stuff. I'm glad I waited because this was only 16 bucks versus like the 20 or so bucks that it would have been. And that is Neon Genesis Evangelion. It is volumes one, two, and three. I'm excited about this. I can't wait to have the other two because I think it's just two more omnibuses. I'll have to do some research. That's what I remember seeing most of 2023 and then some of 2022 before right stuff r.i.p left and went to crunchyroll but i'm excited i can't wait to read it i haven't watched the anime in a long time so i feel like it'll be kind of new to me to read it now who knows and you know this one i was like you know what when i first saw this i really wanted to get this and I saw a few people talking about it. I didn't obviously get it when I saw it for the first time when it released, but I remember thinking like, if this was, if this was on sale, I would buy it. And it was on sale and that's the Titan's Bride. <laughs> Another BL. I'm excited. Uh, I guess in a world of giants, there's no such thing as a little crush. So that's a giant. I don't know what's fixing to happen in this whole entire series because it's quite a few volumes so far. I think it's like five volumes. I'm pretty behind. Ooh, wowzers. Wow. I didn't flip through this before I made this video. Yeah, everything is gigantic. Everything is gigantic. Oh my god. I wouldn't even know how that would physically work. You know what? We're here now. I'll be reading this in March. <laughs> if you've read any of those, let me know down in the comments what you thought about them, what you think about them. Just let me know. All right, so next up were some new releases. I got Futari Escape Volume 4. I got the Elusive Samurai Volume 10. I really need to pick that series back up. I did a reading vlog for like reading a bunch of the first volumes of some series that I had started collecting that I hadn't started and I've only read the first volume for that and I really do want to continue because I did like that first volume. Free Ren volume 10. Didn't even know this was coming out so I'm excited about that. I don't know how long the series is going to be but I want to get a little bit further into reading it. I think I'm on volume 5 right now. 
before I commit to watching the anime. I've seen the first two or three episodes, really, really good. I would highly suggest watching it. And then I got Twilight Out of Focus Volume 4. So I'm excited to read these. Guys, I can't wait. All right, next up are some volumes that I got that were discounted at Second and Charles. So I got this BL Candy Color Paradox. I never heard of this. So I figured, you know what, it's on sale. I'd like to get it. I've been told about this series several times. So when I found this on sale, I was like, okay, I have to get it. And that is Sasaki and Miyano. I got volumes one and volume two. And then I also got the Red Thread volume one. Hadn't heard of this either, but still excited to get it. So lots of BL, lots of stuff from Yen Press. This is from BL Sublime. Okay, so exciting. Also went ahead and got some more volumes of Naruto. So I have volume 13. So I have volumes one through 13 with no breaks. I got volume 22. So it actually picks up like from what I own, right? So I have volumes one through 13 now. I have 13, 15, 20, 22. And then I got an omnibus for 25, 26 and 27. Awesome. I think I mentioned this before that I don't really care collecting that first what would be the box set of Naruto like if it's singles versus omnibuses. I could have done like a right stuff bundle sale that had a bunch of these omnibuses but I passed on it. I, I kind of regret that but it is what it is. So I don't mind that they don't match. It's fine with me but just slowly getting that completed so I can start to read it. I loved Naruto when I watched it. But it's a series that I only watched once. I didn't kind of feel compelled to rewatch it. So I'm hoping that like, you know, I, I'm gonna experience it all over again by reading it. I'm fine with that. But I love Naruto. Sue me. I do like Naruto. I like the big three. I like Bleach. I love One Piece. I love Naruto. Well, oh, I, I don't mean to say I like Bleach. I do love Bleach. I like, I, I love Bleach, but you know what I'm trying to say. I haven't watched Bleach all the way through, but I am simultaneously reading and watching One Piece. Oh, it's just so good. Anyway, moving on. I got another volume of Seraph of the End, volume five. Taking my sweet time collecting this, but now that I have five volumes, I figured, you know what, let me just go ahead and start this series because I think it's a good place to start when you at least have five volumes. And next I got The Vampire and His Pleasant Companions. So I found volumes one, three, and four at Second and Charles. And Books with Bonnie was so kind and got me this for my wish list for my birthday. Thank you so much, Books with Bonnie. I appreciate you so much. I was, I put it on there and I was like, oh, you know, I'll get this when I, when I'm feeling like it, I guess. Uh, obviously, because I just bought the first volume, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and hunker down and start this one. Now, I don't know how long this is. I'll look it up. But, you know, maybe I will start this for like a mini reading vlog since I have the first four. I think that's a good place to start. And the last four volumes I get to talk about were gifts from Jimmy. Thank you so much. He got me volume two of Kakagori. <laughs> I am re actually re-watching the anime with my husband because he'd never seen it before. Such a fun ride. But I already had the first volume, so I'm excited to get the second one. I'm going to read it, see if there's anything that was like a little bit different from the manga versus the anime. He also got me... Volume seven and eight of Kakurio, Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. So I'm really excited about that. The ninth volume comes out sometime this year. I don't remember how long the series is going to be, but I'm excited about it. And last is a volume that I've been wanting to get. I think this came out either early this year or late last year, and I could never find it in real life. <laughs> I couldn't find it at Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, or Second and Charles. I don't know why, but that is The Legend of Duro and Hiyakimaru, uh, volume six. So that is everything that I got for myself or as gifts for my birthday. So exciting. I had, like I said, I had a lovely birthday. I enjoyed myself. I'm so happy that I got to celebrate with so many people that I love and I just really appreciate them. And everyone who watches my videos, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Thank you so much for interacting with my videos. I appreciate it. But yeah, 34, I love it. What a great way to start off. Well, I, I know it's February, but it feels like the year just started for me. <laughs> and it's a beautiful year. I, I'm happy to be 34. And I told Devin that, look, 
35th birthday, man. How are you going to top what you did? It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to top such a great birthday weekend. I'm sure he will, though. He will rise at the challenge. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on other social media. It's in the description box down below. And you have a good day. Goodbye.